today I'm gonna teach you about skydome light so first let's just open my Maya file here I put it in on desktop open it so yeah just continue it and you can see this is the cylinder that I modeled while ago and here is the wireframe just yeah so before do, doing the skydome rendering process just assign a new material on it it should be Arnold's AI standard surface because it will work definitely fine with it yeah so here we just assigned it and then go to the material section rename the material name to uh, whatever identical name you can choose I just set it to cylindrical dot uh, underscore mat that means material and then just put the albedo or base color map over there color section select the image yep now just remember to go to color balance section scroll down and then turn on alpha illuminescence that's all then all you have to do is go to the metalness map because it is a PVM material and it is a metal so obviously it has a metalness map then go to this yep select your metalness map and then open you guys remember to put it on draw because yeah then turn on alpha luminescence on you have to turn this on on every texture map in every cases just to get the fine render output alright now it's about specular put your roughness map in the roughness section go to file select select your roughness map wherever it is right right then just go set it as raw turn on alpha luminescence yep now all the maps are done just normal map is remaining so scroll down you will see geometry right now here use the bump mapping go to there just choose file select your bump map or normal map right now set it to raw done alpha on and then choose it to tangent space normal right you are good to go now once the materials are all done right here the materials are done on the cylinder this you might not see it in texture view but yeah the texture selection texture on shaded view that's the wireframe view yep. now go to Arnold or uh, you can create from here sky dome light or all you have to do is go to the Arnold tab over there go to that sky dome light click here we have the sky dome light created right if you don't see your sky dome light just switch on this from here you will see the circle big circle right Now that you have focused your model, just go to Sky Dome Light, go to Attribute Editor, in the color section, select File and choose any HDRI map you have. You can use Substance Printer's HDRI maps, you can found it on their directory wherever you have installed or you can download it from HDRI heaven I got the HDRS from there now open the HDRI map yep here it is as you can see make sure that your color space is raw if you set it on RGB it will be like very saturated and vibrated vibrance right 
highlight rooms. Now select your sky dome light, open our null render view, here you will see the output that how your render is gonna be look like. Also guys if you want to set your uh, resolution size you just have to go to render settings yeah right there you can say go to annual render or anything just in the common settings when you scroll down you will see the image size section where you can decide the height width ratios in whichever resolution you want Here you can see this is the output I am getting but where are the shadows, the ground shadows right. So for that let me just show you what you have to do that's very 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 simple just first create a planar make it big just like that now assign new material put Arnold shader which is said as AI shadow matte right. it, it works as a shadow catcher simply if I say yeah. Here you can see now it's casting shadows on the ground. Now just zoom in, set your preferred camera angle, however, you want to take your render. Right, you can see that it's casting proper shadows and it's giving a realistic vibe. If you think your render scene is looking a bit dull, you can increase the intensity over there as you can see in the preview. It's brighten a little bit. Right? Now just hit the render button and let's see what will be the output. Here we have the output. Just wanna render so so yeah guys the render is done. As you can see it's looking very pretty good. Another stage is now you can compose it in photoshop or just tweak a little bit up over then see can see the difference now just save image before use this say setting don't set it to raw color set it to color managed image and then apply or apply and goes go to file save image select that directory put any name how you want to save it as simple as that hit the save button and it's done pretty simple right now just open the image to see how it will look yeah so here is the final result as you can see yeah. you can further edit it on photoshop if you want or any editing app that's very simple 